to get the power stars to save my special one. I won't stop, I'll never rest until the deed is done. I will travel across the universe, exploring the galaxies. Cause I'll bet this game alone, it sold a million Wii's. Galaxy Super Mario. Galaxy. The destiny of many galaxy. Oh, Luigi's my bro. To an adventure he'll never say no. Galaxy Super Mario. Oh, oh, oh. Jordan 54 says he low. I teach you to play this game. Galaxy Super Mario. Super Mario. Galaxy. King Caliente's Battle Fleet. After feeding the first hungry Luma on his journey, Mario continues his journey through the Good Egg Galaxy once more. Hello, <laughs> Pepez. And welcome back to Joe and 54's Super Mario Galaxy Walkthrough. In the last episode, we fed the very first Hungry Luma on our journey, and it definitely won't be the last. And right now, one of my cats is growling. It's kind of awkward when you think about it. Alright. So, time to get to the final normal star in this galaxy. And now my cat's hissing. <laughs> and hissing again. Anyways, uh, putting the curse in cursor again. It's King Caliente's Battle Fleet. Uh, this star is yet another boss fight star. And it's actually a pretty fun one. I mean, uh, if you noticed, I put like an enjoyment level setting on my border of the last part. And it was only like 5 out of 10 or 6 out of 10 or something generally, generally low. Uh, 5 out of 10 is just average. And that's why a snack of cosmic proportions is average. It really didn't pull either way for me. So anyway, uh, I I noted that um, I'm going to be do using the uh, orange pipe in this star, in this part. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're just going to head to the back right here and... Okay, this is getting out of hand. I'm just going to move my sensor bar. Oh, there. There we go. I think we're good. Yeah, much better. Yeah, I guess it's not the best idea to put my sensor bar on, on the middle of my computer monitor. Not the best idea in the world. Considering how far to the right it is from me. Anyways, uh, so if you head in this pipe, there's some really cool areas here. It's funny how the only way you can get to that wall or any of the walls is by going on a ramp. Yeah, that's how you get from gravity to gravity. Ramps. Hit this uh, question mark coin, and we get a little remix here. Basically, you just collect the uh, musical notes. Get them in time, or they'll disappear. And um, you can get yourself a mushroom. Ah, uh, mushroom. One up mushroom. And then he can leave. Uh, later they'll add those thought rock things uh, in those pipe interiors, so don't expect them to be free of hazards. Speaking of hazards, uh, we're introduced to these coconuts right here. Now these, pretty much, this is how it goes. Things that shoot lava hate coconuts. Things that are spiky hate coconuts. So we're gonna give him to some spiky and lava-y stuff. And I missed hardcore there. Yeah, it's a little bit, oh, it's kind of annoying thing about these coconuts. 
uh, usually they like spin right over the enemy you're trying to kill. You can free a toad from this crystal here. He's like, you saved me! Which apparently means that... I guess he was conscious inside that uh, glass crystal and stuff. That can't be healthy. I mean, his eyes are being like covered in crystal and stuff. Like, it's not like his eyes are closed or anything. Um, yeah, spiky things hate coconuts. And so do lava-y things. Uh, word of advice, take a coconut from here and spin attack it when it's right about here. And if you go back right here, uh, well, normally it would show you that it went on that other planet. And now we're off to get a go. And now we're gonna have to go on that planet. So let's just bring this coconut right over there. Went a little too far. And a sling star will appear. First, I'm gonna explore this planet a little more. Because that's what I'm gonna do with every planet. Yeah! Or at least the very first time that I uh, land on them. Most of the planets that you'll see in this game are one-timers, but occasionally there'll be like that hub planet that I, you always start on. Um, that's the case in this galaxy. It, it, it isn't always the case in other galaxies. Um, so you can look around and stuff. Lots more spiky things to kill. And... Well, as you can see, there's a Pokey there, but we're not gonna deal with him just yet. Oh no. We got some spiky things to kill. Come on. Ugh. Yes, alright, I got one. Oh, no! Yeah, if you ground pound here, uh, I don't think I've explained ground pounds, actually. Uh, you press Z in midair and you'll ground pound. You can get stuck in the sand. Mario will be a doll. Oh! And then you'll have to shake or press A to get out. You can also use coconuts to pwn Goombas. Right. Ugh, die. And um, if you get too close to the Pokey without a, a coconut, it's gonna try to bum rush you and just slam itself down on top of you. If you took the other path on the first star in this ga uh, galaxy, as in uh, the part where I went down a pipe and got some flip switches and stuff, if you went the other way, you would have faced a spiny piranha plant, which is a giant piranha plant that's purple, and uh, pretty much uh, you, you wait for it to slam itself down on you and then jump on it. That's kind of similar to what you do here, except you have to hit a coconut at it, and then jump on it. So you hit it, and then right away you need to jump on it, because it will regenerate, so be careful. Launch yourself right ahead, and you'll be on this star. Do not shake! Do not shake! Go on this pipe here. If you shake, you'll miss a really cool thing that you can do here. Alright, so there's this right here which is a rainbow star. Which is invincibility. Which is awesome. <laughs> but don't spend too much time here because your time will run out very quickly. So get over here, and this is the only way you can kill these chomps. So beat the crap out of them. They make really cool noises when you kill them. They go Bruh! And I better collect these star bits or else I will not be happy. Alright. So, moving on. Now we shake. And we're on this planet right here. This planet's pretty epic. Um, you'll be facing a lot of planets similar to this one later. And uh, this is like a bottomless pit, but you can't enter it. It's like covered in, I guess, shocky things. I don't know. But these shocky things, if you touch them, you get hurt. The other ones, you can't touch them. They're like walls. I don't know, like solid electricity or something? I don't get it. Video games and their invisible walls. Haha! -ha! You will not be able to get up. Ugh! Yes! 
good thing those electric currents aren't solid electricity. You're able to walk through them after getting hit. After getting hit. <laughs> um, let me see here. Uh, you can press uh, buttons on the plus control pad to uh, change the camera, but sometimes it doesn't work. Just be careful. Although, uh, sometimes you can still press the C button on the nunchuck to change the camera angle, which is nice. Uh, so that was the uh, that was the bottom of this planet, and ow! Fine, I'll just take this way. This way is the top. And yes, these are Slurples. So I got their name right. <sighs> I'm good at this. And there are quite a few coins here, so don't worry about getting hurt. Uh, there's some bullet bills here. Uh, the bullet bills in this game act like missile bills in New Super Mario Bros. Week, because every single bullet bill in this game will track you. Regardless of what type of bullet bill it is. Except for bonsai bills. Ow, they, those don't track you. Okay, that was really cheap. If it weren't for my invincibility frames, I, I would have gotten comboed. Okay. Uh, uh. Right. Yeah, I would have been really awkward getting comboed by a bullet bill and an octuba. Alright, let's long jump our way up here. Yeah, alright. Oh, wait, I missed an octuba. I missed two octubas. I suck at this. All right. And I missed a slurple. Ugh. See, I'm trying to go on an enemy massacre here. Because enemies give me starbits, and I like starbits. Although, enemies like uh, Magikoopas and those mini Goombas, which I still don't know the name of. Uh, get away from me! Uh, they will give you coins no matter what. All right, so, time to head right here. Get your cursor ready so you can collect these starbits, because as soon as you land on this airship, you won't be able to. Because you can't change the camera angle here. Get this intense music here, and we have to deal with some octopi here. Basically, spin attack their, the coconuts that they shoot, and they'll home in on the octopi and own them. It's kind of a cliche in the Mario series, pretty much, where the enemy has a projectile. You do something with that projectile. You counter with that projectile. You win. And, uh, basically if you didn't kill that octopi uh, before rescuing that toad, that toad will tell you uh, how to kill the octopi. If you didn't already know. It's pretty obvious. Break some crates here. You can get some coins. Um, I saw something some uh, I saw something sparkling there and I knew something was good in there. Uh, this is either called a life mushroom or a power mushroom. I call it power mushroom that way it doesn't get confused with the one up mushroom because one up and life, you know. So that's a power mushroom. Uh, basically it doubles your health. Now you have six to health. But uh, if you get hit while you have four health, you won't be able to recover your extra health. I still can't change the camera angle. Guess that's only for certain missions. Um, either that or it's specifically not for these. Ugh. No, you will not hurt me. No, no sir. Man, I'm racking up a lot of time here. Ow! Screw you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Murder all Octumbas. So we're gonna launch Star our way up here to this, uh, this is the last planet here. Uh, this Luma right here will explain what I explained in part two, how you can shoot a star bit at those lights and you can get star bits. And speaking of star bits, there are a lot surrounding this battlefield where you fight King Caliente <laughs> with awesome music. I love this music. Probably a lot more than I should. And he also shoots coconuts with a really funny sound effect. Alright, and he also shoots flaming coconuts, which hurt you. And later in the battle, he'll trip into the lava and shoot annoying blue things. Alright. Did I get them all? Alright, I think I got them all. Coconut! Yeah! That first time is easy. 
You'll hit him right away, get some star bits. And the second time is also pretty easy. He blocks it once, then you hit it again, and he gets hurt again. He drops a lot more star bits, and also his crown, and now he gets very angry. And shoots some blue stuff, and this blue stuff is very annoying. Now this coconut you have to counter three times, and you get him. He falls back down into the lava, and gives you a star. And wow, it spawned right next to me. That was perfect. All right, we got ourselves another power star. Woohoo! <laughs> Boosh. Not done. Got ourselves another star. I don't get the high score thing. It's like they give you a score based on how many coins you got. I guess that's the purpose of uh, coins to get a score. Yeah. And you know, that was pretty awesome. Fought a lava monster. That's something I can put on today's agenda. We fought a lava monster. <laughs> all right. That's all. And with that, Mario finishes his journey for the Good Egg Galaxy for now. Later he will continue, much later in this walkthrough that is, but for now, he will go to a different galaxy as his new journey continues.